Hey dear friends, welcome back to part 5 of Kotlin tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can work with loop in Kotlin. So, in the previous video, we ha you have learned how you can work with when condition in Kotlin. Uh, you didn't watch this video, so I suggest you. Mm, watch this video it will be helpful so let's have uh, at the first let's make uh, an array where my data there you can uh, you can you can put your uh, type of your variable an array okay for example array of string this means this array can hold can just hold a string value okay is equal to list of and uh, now here also you can specify the string hello how are you okay okay type is mismatch okay right now we don't want to specify the type you can um, if you have any what will happen now uh, no problem okay as the okay if you have list of string now as you can see there is no problem because this is a list and this return a list of a string and you can hold it in a list okay also uh, you may can put this array list but not now we have an array of this four value now we can make our form here can make a variable well item type string and my data okay but there it should not be well because item every time loop uh, uh, loop as in a circle uh, this the value of item will will change so therefore we should have well okay you cannot specify what well also Oh, wall and wall is not all way. Okay, just you can type. Also, this is not. This are not necessary. But if you have, no problem. So now you can easily print all the value. Okay, you can print all the value. Item. Okay, this is nice. So, also you can print that in this is in this index of any value. For example, item 
and my data that in this in this is okay and then you can print out them for example print land here is a nice feature in Kotlin you can print uh, your variable inside your string okay just by dollar sign for example now the item is index because we called here the index of our list so item okay is equal to for example if you have multiple variable uh, you put first dollar sign and then put bracket okay and inside that you can make your object or you can call your object or your array now my data of item because item because item is in this of list now if you run again as you can see zero is hello one is how we have here the print I make this print ln okay as you can see zero in this is hello then this one is how and this two is r and this three is u okay